All right. Well, there's that. We'll uh, shut the truck off now. I just wanted it to get warm. Notice the exhaust is cool. No, uh, no smoke after it gets warm. Since I changed the fuel filter, it's been it's been starting funny. I mean, it starts right up, but then it kind of kind of misses and chugs, and and uh, even more so than I think it should. I mean, Cummins always run a little rough when you first start them because, well, just because I guess the timing is a little bit retarded on them, and uh, I don't know. Anyhow, I'm gonna get this uh, get this set of tires off and uh, uh, we'll get a look in there and see what what's going on with the brakes. And uh, while we're at it, we'll put these away. So once we're done manipulating that cross member for now. All right, so this is the left side of the truck. So these tighten to the left. And so we'll go right. Now I think I bought, I can't really remember, but I somehow think that I bought the short socket that I needed. And so it should be, um, it should be in the toolbox. Oops. I made a, I made a little electricity in my forearm. That's never a, never a good sign. So here we go. We got this uh, socket from the snap-on guy, and uh, it's a nice short reach. We're going to clean these up, of course. Oh, look at that one. You know, these are steel wheels. So they don't take any long studs, not like aluminum wheels. Some, uh... 413 to paint them with and uh and that's crazy you see how nice and easy that one went the shovel is definitely the tool of choice for taking these wheels off at home we'll uh clean these wheels up before we put them back on too so there's something wrong with this brake, and oh, am I recording? Okay, so there's something wrong with this brake, and uh, 
you can see the brake shoes are actually hanging out of the drum and what I predict is same thing happened here that happened to Tricia and somebody tried to put a brake drum on that doesn't have the right size pilot hole for this hub and uh, All right. So yeah, I'd say that seal's out. So we'll have to get a seal. We'll take this hub off. We'll get a seal. We're just gonna replace these brakes. But the, the thing we have to look for is why that hub wasn't on all the way. And uh, I think that's gonna be the answer. So, a little bit of, a little bit of oil in there, not as much as I'd like to see. Uh, the axle looks a little rusty on the end. Uh, imagine just from sitting. And, let's see. This, uh, I think I have that, uh, a lot of metal in there. Something probably, uh, some probably wearing out a little bit. I mean, Preload's a little, a little much, but uh, not horrible. I mean, I set Trisha's up a little tight as well, so it's not a huge deal. We'll let this, uh, we'll let this leak out for a little bit. I'll get the tool and we'll take that off and. You know, for Trisha, I'm going to get new, new hubs, um, stud pilot or hub pilot hubs, and I'm going to get super singles, I think, and put on Trisha. Um, I'm not sure. Just depends. I'm, I'm getting kind of excited about getting the engine going on Crystal. Uh, I talked to uh, Tim Gentry last night a little bit via text message to see what his opinion was, and he had. Uh, he had a few ideas, and uh, so maybe we'll run those down and and uh, see if that's the deal. And uh, anyways, we'll be right back. Well, I forgot to turn you on, so you didn't get to see me break this loose, but it was a non-event. Just put my socket on there, big big gym there, and uh, loosen up the first one. Took the retainer out, and. Uh, Here we are. So you see there's a bunch of holes in that ring. And then this nut has a, has a pin. So you tighten this one down, you set your preload, your preload, and then you slide your retainer on and line up one of the holes. And the holes are offset to the key, so if you put it on one way and it don't line up with the hole, you flip it over and it'll probably line up with the hole. So put those in there, then you grab your hub, get your bearing out. And we look at the bearing, and it looks good. And, you know, we could put new bearings in it. Um, feels good. 
not a great amount of slop. Um, you know that bearing that that uh, hub felt nice, so I'm not really one you know super concerned with it. And so uh, you bring it almost out to the end. You let it tip down and uh, put it right there. So what you do is you just get up in there and uh, pry that seal out of there. You can see it's been leaking. I mean, we knew that from looking at the brakes, but uh, it just looks funny to me. So I decided since I can't start the truck because the starter died, I was going to go ahead and take the wheels off this side because, you know, I don't really want to spend 20 minutes undoing the brakes. So, All right, so let's get a look at this drum. Thirty-one forty-one. Uh, I am gonna get it off and put it over there, um, just to double check. But I knew that's what it was. Man. I am so out of shape. Uh, I'm going to get surgery on my foot. And after I do that, I'm going to get back to working out because this is crazy. I'll be back. Okay, guys. So uh, I know we can't see right in here, but uh, I'm going to take the... Uh, I'm going to loosen up the slack adjuster. And, uh, oh boy, maybe I will, maybe I won't. All right, whew, okay. Let me grab a tape. All right, so what do we got? We got... 10 and 5 eighths. And we got a quarter inch. What do we got on this other one?
Yeah, we got 10 and 3 eighths and a quarter inch. So, obviously, this drum will work fine over there. And it's the, uh, 3141 and that's the drum that I that's the drum that I looked up last night just figuring how much deeper it needed to be to cover the brakes and I know it's gonna work but yep brakes are inside eighth of an inch like they're supposed to be so so they just got the wrong drum uh, probably one they had or maybe the only one they could get their hands on quickly So that makes me feel better. I can finish putting this uh, hub together now. <sighs> Be ready to put these brakes together. Now, I'm huffing and puffing big time today because <sighs> I just had a huge meal. And so for the next hour or so, I'm gonna be dying. But YouTube comes first, so let's get her done. I'll be back. All right, guys, so uh, yeah. 3141 um, and you know nobody's got one in stock today so it'll be tomorrow when I get it all right so uh, there's a little uh, there's a little cap with a spring and it uh, keeps the uh, slack adjuster from backing off it's like a one-way check ball and uh, you got to take that out and then that takes the pressure off of the off the little check ball and then you can loosen the brakes so anyhow don't forget and leave your little ratchet on there and, and it's a square drive Five sixteenths. All right. A favor, take these babies into the wire wheel and uh, wire wheel them off. Put a little go, ju go juice on them. You don't wear gloves when you do this job because you want to be able to get your hands out of the wheel and gloves will actually help drag your hands in so I've been using this particular grinder with this particular wire wheel on it since I was a little kid and uh, it has taken more skin off my knuckles than any other thing I've ever used. The good thing is that it's pretty soft. And uh, you see, you see it does a really nice job. So anyways, that's what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to wire wheel these off.
put the valve stem down on this one. I'll put the valve stem up on this one. Well, that's that. All right, guys. So uh, let's get some get some cameras rolling. Okay, the drums here. So I'm gonna get you. Oop, I'm gonna pour all the water I can off of the tarp onto my head because that. That's what I want. Right, so let's get this uh, little bit of gasket scraped off. Now, normally, I don't use a gasket. Normally, I use anaerobic sealer, but uh, I didn't have any, and so um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to yeah, it should only be just a little bit of stuff. It's half full. Half? We'll fill it up. What's it half full of? Diesel? All right. Let's just get this cleaned up. Looks good. Ooh, squirt myself. And this thing was leaking, so chances are it's pretty low. Well, hopefully we'll be able to get her full with what's left in this jug. Okay. Well. Oh, it is full. Look at that. I poured some on my pants. That's cool.
all right guys so uh that's that uh candy's back to being mobile um i'll it's gonna rain all night so we'll see if that leak in the cab is fixed but the brakes are done um started doing the lights we got rained on i don't like those lights anyways because they're plastic housing so it's going to break off but i'm going to put the other one on anyways and wire it in we gotta get the brights working but uh for now that's it appreciate you coming by don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'll see you